Hi, we're up to week 11. Uh, for week 11, I want you to focus on writing the executive summary assignment. If you remember from writing 1060, this is very similar to the abstract that you did for your research report um, following APA format, just like you did in that class. Um, I've given you some links. Uh, the Purdue OWL has, uh, you know, just how to write an abstract, but also how to kind of look at that from the perspective of business, which would be the executive summary, but basically the same format. I also gave you um, a link to just kind of the the tips for writing, uh, you know, better executive summaries, you know, explains, you know, what the concept of one is. Yours is going to be about one page long, not even a full page. I would say about a half page. If you remember from writing 1060, uh, you did about 100 to 250 words for your your abstract. Since you only have, uh, you know, a four to five page paper, you're going to want to stick to that as a good, uh, you know, kind of word count range. Um, but explains, you know, what you should have in your executive, I'm sorry, executive summary. I apologize. Um, you know, just that that idea that you're you're making your recommendation. So you're going to briefly explain what it's about, what you propose, how you propose it, and what the next step would be. Um, you know, definitely uh, the, the final thing that I gave you a link to was just a sample, you know, reiterating what the important parts are of an executive summary and then an example executive summary. Um, again, this one would be far too long for the kind of paper that you're writing currently, or especially the length of paper, because you want to remember, you don't want to spend two pages explaining a four-page paper, a four to five-page paper. You want to keep it to uh, about, you know, double space, let's say a half to uh, three quarters of a page long. But it summarizes the content, um, and we use that you know, language that announces this report explains or this report uh, describes a common problem in X company. Uh, and then you'll, you're going to go through and, and briefly explain that and briefly explain um, your approach, your recommendation. Now, the next thing that I want you to, you know, remember after you've read through those is to post your executive summary um, by 11.55 on Sunday evening. And then the um, final thing that I want you to do for the week is the discussion forum. I want you to watch um, Tom Wujek's TED Talk. It's about just kind of visualizing a particular plan um, using the concept of how to make toast. And then I want you to create your own toast plan. Um, like I say in the directions, you can either draw it out and take a picture of your drawing and then post that picture. You can type it out and copy and paste it into the initial um, post, but mainly you want to, um, you know, somehow in, you know, squares or pieces of toast or whatever you decide to, you know, do into a table format, draw out your problem and the suge suggested solution for this white paper and add some of the steps that you're later going to include in the proposal, where you're going to move from those recommendations into actual actions for implementation of your solution. Um, so your initial post is going to be that toast plan. And then I want you to comment on two classmates' plans by providing each one with one piece of constructive criticism. Maybe you feel like they've missed a particular point, or they've created an unrealistic step, or they might need to adjust based on their uh, audience. But that's what I would like you to um, go through, is just kind of the visualization of this as we move very soon from that first white paper into that uh, formal proposal. Um, all right, if you have questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great week.